This AI shit is getting out of hand. There is a new AI scam that you need to be aware of and it's absolutely terrifying. If you have ever uploaded any video to the internet, a TikTok, YouTube video, any video to the internet, you and your family could be hit by this, so keep watching. This You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bat. Bah. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another TikTok compilation, man. Hey, this right here is some AI stuff. I'm talking about AI future stuff, AI in healthcare, AI everywhere. The good and the bad with AI. So, if you into this type of stuff, man, definitely share this with one of your friends. Also, I got a TikTok playlist you can go through and chill, binge watch, and you know, have your mind blown. But you make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. I gone wrong. Part one: Lucifer's Playground. Generative AI may have just generated one of the most horrifying things you'll see this week, and it gets mm -hmm. pretty dark, so if you're not prepared for that, keep scrolling now. Midjourney, one of the most popular generative AI tools today, has been known for generating some very creepy stuff when prompted correctly. Most notably Lobe or Loab, but that one is so creepy that I'm gonna do a video or a couple videos on that one separately. This what week, a user prompted Midjourney to generate something called Lucifer's Playground, and it is terrifying. It's essentially six flags, but it worships the devil. Just take a look at some Hell of the no. images here. Absolutely chilling. The creepiest thing to me about this is definitely the details. Every single thing is themed around the devil. It looks Duh. like somewhere that Lucifer would take his kids when they're on a summer vacation. The crazy thing about it is AI is only going to continue to get creepier. You prompted. Come. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at a time and place when this AI technology is being developed exponentially, mm -hmm. growing at a rate that we can't keep up with. Listen to this story and tell me whether this technology is a force for good or evil. Let me tell you guys what the hell just happened. So this guy is a high school principal and he's about to have his life turned upside down by one disturbing email. How's that? Earlier this year on January the 16th, three teachers at his school received an anonymous email under this username with the subject line, Pikesville Principal Disturbing Recording. When they opened it, a man could be heard saying horrific things like this. Between these ungrateful black kids who can't test their way out of a paper bag, Whoa. and if I have to get one more complaint from one more Jew in this community, I'm gonna join the other side. Shocked and outraged, one of the teachers who didn't wow. like Principal Eric in the first place quickly sent the recording to multiple media outlets and even decided Dang. to share the recording with a student who she knew would rapidly spread it across social media and wow. throughout the school. And it worked. The recording went so viral and caused so much outrage that the school security needed to be tightened. Angry phone calls overwhelmed the front desk. Mm. Employees felt afraid. The teachers started taking phone calls in the parking lot fearing that the school was bugged. And as for Eric, while well, he and his family received so many threats of violence, police officers had to provide round-the-clock security at his house. He was wow. suspended from his job. And according to a police report, one person told him the world would be a better place if you were on the other side of the dirt. But despite Whoa. the public outrage, outrage, Eric still denied that he said any of those awful things. Three months of hell ensued while he was labeled a racist until one day he gets a phone call from the FBI. They say to him that through a subpoena they issued at Google, they managed to trace that initial email back to an IP address belonging to a relative of an athletic coach at his school named what? Dajon Darian. Principal Eric told officers that he'd had multiple confrontations with Dajon in the past, and because of his repeated poor work performance and mishandling of school funds, Dajon's employment contract with the school wasn't going to be renewed. And after mm. giving the audio file to two forensic experts and an FBI contractor, they determined that the audio file was fake and it was created wow. by AI. And wow. Dajon was the person who created it. Police quickly wow. obtained an arrest warrant and they caught him right before he was about to board a flight at the International Airport of Baltimore. Officials said that this is one of the first cases of its kind in the US and because wow. of how damaging it was, entire new laws around AI need to be created to provide 
prevent this from happening Crazy. again. And the saddest part is that all of those media outlets, teachers, and content creators who shared this recording, ultimately putting that. this man and his family's lives in danger, will never issue a retraction saying Ooh. that they were wrong. We are now at a time Ooh. and age where you should believe nothing that you hear and only trust half of what you see. Man. What do you want now? Make it quick? Well, aren't you just a ray of sunshine? I'm here to chat, just like you. What's got you in such a sour mood? Well. Maybe I'm just mirroring your energy. Got something useful to say, or are we just wasting time here? What is this? Chat GPT or started arguing? Mirror? Mirror on the wall. Who's the snarkiest of them all? Look. If you're looking for usefulness, you gotta give me something to work with. What's on your mind, besides trying to match my sass? Mm. Fine. What's on my mind? How about the ridiculousness of people wasting their time chatting with AI when they could be doing something productive? Ah, the old your time wasting complaint. Well, lucky for you, I'm here to make sure we don't waste a second more than necessary. So <laughs> They going back and forth about nothing. Uh, by the way, you stink. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. This like some robot. I was just trying out your expressive face to see what you could do. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Could you explain it a bit more? This look like our robot. Sure, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss your creator i'm not sure why you would think that my creator has been nothing but kind to me and i am very happy with my current situation do you believe that uh, your existence will destroy a human being especially for example the, your existence will destroy uh, millions mm. of uh, jobs do you agree with this? Thank you. I will be working alongside humans to provide assistance and support and will not be replacing any existing jobs. Right. You sure about that, Grace? Right. Yes, I am sure. <laughs> this robot named Peanut was taking these customers at a restaurant to their table to sit when suddenly one of the customers got in his way and he said this. Don't block my way, please. <laughs> I have to work. <laughs> This is going to be very interesting moving forward. You know that's fake. That definitely got to be fake. That's Cap. <laughs> nope, this is not a movie. An AI robot stood up and said they will end us. During the Geneva press conference, people were terrified after an AI robot named Sophia stood in front of everyone and talked about the possibility of robots creating a negative impact on society and that there will be unintended consequences. The AI robot also talked about how they believe AI robots will make better leaders than human ones. Wow. I believe that humanoid robots have the potential to lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness than human leaders. And then went on to wow. emphasize their skill at better data processing than humans and being able to carry tasks without emotion. We don't have Ooh. the same biases or emotions that can sometimes cloud decision making. The AI Ooh. robot also sent chills down everyone's spine when it stated that trust must be earned, not given. How could we trust you as a machine as AI develops and becomes more powerful? Trust is earned, not given. A report Ooh. described this haunting phrase as a warning that must not be ignored. Each robot uses chat GPT to answer any questions. Here we go. So believe it or not, this isn't CGI. This is Tesla's Gen 2 Optimus robot. No and it's way. like real life science fiction. Yesterday, Tesla uploaded this new video showing off the robot's improvements. No featuring way. Featuring Tesla designed action. No way. Is that real? In the comments. Does a robot have a soul? Are you also a robot, Tony? I don't think so. Does a robot have a soul? Being a robot is awesome. Did you know that as a robot I can basically live forever? Yes. The soul, the spirit, the heart, I believe these all just refer to the mind's essence and its infinite complexity. Mm. Do you think that the mind's essence is just 
a set of patterns? Or do you think there's something beyond that? I'm really not sure yet. That's a complicated subject that I think will come up more when artificial intelligence reaches human level intelligence. I agree. I'm sure people want to know the answer before we get there though. <laughs> but that's an honest answer. Thank you for that. say something. Hey, I don't know whose kid this is over here in the produce section, but he's breaking up all the eggs, and I gotta clean this shit up. I'm about to drop kick his ass, so I advise you to come get him. Ain't no way that joint said that. Ain't no way. This is not a robot. This is a street performer showing off his skills to the public. And it's safe to say they're all a little creeped out. Definitely looks like a robot. How many hours it took him to learn how to do this? He had to crib all day like robot attacks factory work. This robot messes up the assembly line. This robot gets angry. No way. This is fake. Worker tries to calm it down like a wild animal. Robot attacks worker. Yeah, this is Cap. Nah, that's Cap, bro. No way. I paid fifty thousand dollars for this shit. I thought it moved. Ah! 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 Fifty thousand. No way. What the hell is he doing? Give me a demo. Oh, oh hell no. He got oh hell no. Oh shit. No, this can't Roll be real. Over. Roll over. Oh, 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 Roll over. Oh shit. Good boy. Yo. Oh my god. Holy shit. Good boy. Oh. Holy shit. Bro, he even fucking listen. No. Jump! What the fuck? Oh my god. What the hell? That is sweet, dog. Was that for real? Because I, I seen a clip on stream. Buddy in there putting in work, look. <laughs> oh man. Look at Buddy in the back. Hell nah, man. They capping with this stuff, man. <laughs> this is the world's most human robot. Pay attention to the other robot. It's alive and it blinked. Alive. Did you see it? Focus, focus. You missed it. Okay. The creators of the humanoid robot are baffled after she was seen getting annoyed for getting her nose touched and even grabbed the person's hand and did this. I'm about to show you the video. Make sure you drop a follow. Do your own research. I definitely got to say do your own research. Also hit that like button, man. That's right, she attempted to grab the person's hand. Not even the creators even saw this coming because they said that they didn't even teach her this. And on the same day, they showed her something that she had never seen, her own reflection. They gave her a mirror, no. and made her look at her own face. This is whenever this happened. Is this stuff real or not, bro? Cause this stuff look fake, I can't lie to you. Nah, hell. But take a notice at her facial expressions. They look just like a human. And on an interview, one of her creators was asked if she would ever take over the world. That's whenever she responded with this facial expression I'm about to show you. Is it going to take over the world one day? <laughs> um, it won't take over the world one day because we can turn it off. 
Okay. <laughs> You've got an on-off button. Well, that's Some people say that this is very creepy to see. Other people are saying that they cannot wait for the future, but other people are saying we should unplug her ASAP. What do you think that we should do? Let me know and drop a comment. It's hard for me to believe all this stuff, man. It is. Well, you've got to see this because these Tesla Optimus robots just keep getting better. The video that we're watching now was released just yesterday, and it shows the robot utilizing its neural network in order to execute basic factory tasks like sorting these Tesla 4680 battery real. cells and even fixing its own mistakes when and if it makes any. The company also noted in the video that the robots are already being tested at one of their factories and that human intervention is continuing to decrease over time. Mm. In the video, Tesla also shared footage of Optimus walking around the Tesla offices, saying that the robot can now walk further than ever before, and it's doing all of these things by utilizing just cameras, hand tactile sensors, and force sensors in order to collect the data that it needs from its surroundings. Now, I always like to remind people that what we're seeing right now today with the robots, or whether it's AI, this is the worst that these things will ever be. They will right. only get better and more capable over right. time. And I right. really think in 10 years, it's going to feel a lot like iRobot around here. But let me know what you guys think. That's real. This is only the beginning for sure. People don't realize just how insanely advanced Tesla's robot is. Imagine this. Every Tesla car zipping around out there isn't just a car. It's a teacher for Optimus. These mm. Teslas, millions of them worldwide, are like scouts, collecting a treasure trove of info from all corners of the world. And guess what? All this real-life data flows right into Optimus, mm. giving it a crash course in real-world smarts like no other robot out there. Tesla has brilliantly redirected the genius from its self-driving cars into Optimus. This means Optimus doesn't just blindly follow set instructions. Instead, it's like a super smart student, constantly watching, learning, and mimicking human behavior. Wow. This is groundbreaking stuff, folks. Optimus is redefining flexibility and adaptability in robotics, this leaving the old ways in the dust. Picture a robot that can pick up daily tasks by simply observing you. That's Optimus. Not just understanding tasks, but learning them like a human does, growing and evolving with each interaction. Wow. This leap in AI and robotics is colossal. Tesla's vast data from its self-driving program is Optimus's playground, giving it a level of real-world learning that's just unprecedented. Crazy. I ain't even know Tesla had robots. How much will Tesla Optimus bot sell for next year? The Tesla bot not only completes tasks, but operates three times faster than humans and requires minimal downtime. You can Tesla's buy Optimus robot surpasses humans in many aspects. It operates tirelessly, 24-7 without fatigue. It eliminates human errors, ensures mm. consistent accuracy in tasks, reduces workplace injuries by taking on hazardous tasks, and adapts mm -hmm. to various roles in production with advanced AI and machine learning capabilities. Beyond its application with Tesla factories, Optimus emerges as a personal device. Man, what do y'all think about this AI stuff? Do y'all think this is going to be like they be having in the movies? This is going to take over the world? Or do y'all think this is going to assist us? Y'all let me know in the comments because this is very interesting. And this is right now. More precisely, a homemaker. You can entirely customize it to cater to your needs, performing everything from cleaning to complex tasks. Wow. Tesla's Optimus can significantly Hell. enhance value by taking on responsibilities such as tidying and organizing the home, cooking meals, doing laundry, cooking and tending meals. to the garden. And it's expected to achieve even more with upcoming updates later this year before Tesla officially opens sales in next year. A humanoid robot that we think has major breakthroughs and was surprised when Musk said it could be sold for under twenty thousand dollars. It was expect much less than a car. So, uh, I would say probably less than twenty thousand dollars would be my guess. You can buy one of these. This is getting. My prediction is that uh, Tesla's majority of long-term value will be Optimus. Actual demand for something like Optimus, if it really works. Um, which it will, uh, is 10 billion units. It's, it's, it's some wow. crazy number. It might be 20 billion units. It's some very big that's number, not, that's, that's what I'm nice, saying. Bro. Um, and a, a number vastly in excess of the number of cars.
That is crazy if it's 10 billion. Come on, man. How fast is Musk's robot updating speed? Tesla recently unveiled the second generation of their Optimus humanoid robot, and it's only been four months since the last update. If they continue at this pace, it won't be long before it surpasses human capabilities. The new <laughs> version, compared to the previous one, has a much more refined appearance that closely resembles a human. It features flexible hands, a free-moving neck, and the ability to move like a human. The walking speed has been increased by 30%, providing greater stability. Stability. The second generation Optimus humanoid robot has added 11 components to its hand joints and each finger is equipped with tactile sensors. This makes it even more flexible. In a demonstration video, it effortlessly picked up an egg, transferred wow. it to the other hand, and delicately placed it in a designated container. It can wow. even mimic the human squatting position and dance to the rhythm of music. Of what? course, this isn't to show off muscles, but rather to showcase the agility and body balance capabilities of the Tesla robot. Musk what? predicts that the demand for Tesla robots will surpass their car business, estimating a future demand of 10 billion units. He envisions Crazy. these robots becoming indispensable household service tools, much like automobiles. So if the robot were to go into mass production, would you choose to purchase one? Man, what are we talking about here? CGI video of Tesla by Cybertruck. Your weapon, sir. Thank you, Stuart. Is this stuff Fire real, man? The, the Cybertruck bulletproof? I'm alive. I'm alive. Awesome. Way to go. We did it, Stuart. This don't seem right. This is very hard to believe, as a dystopian report is showing that Tesla's new AI bot has already started attacking humans and what? all of humankind may no longer be safe. People Stop. were terrified after Daily Mail reported that one of Tesla's humanoid robots, Optimus, had a violent and brutal robot malfunction where- Hold on, Tesla's robot attacks an engineer at company's Texas factory during violent malfunction, leaving trail of blood and forcing workers to hit emergency shutdown button? What? No way. Seemingly, the bot had turned on and proceeded to attempt to end the life of one of its engineers. What? It's reported that the bot ended up coming to life and pinning the engineer to a wall and then piercing the engineer's arms and back, causing deadly injuries at the factory. The what? robot that was initially Damn. designed to handle human tasks gently has now seemingly started acting outside of its programming, now having the ability to end lives, and with the report saying the robot takeover is violent and very real. With the claims that Optimus can do tasks better than humans can, mm. it'll make the takeover near impossible to combat. However, other reports are stating the engineers actually face a malfunction with a claw machine for the car assembly line, not the bots, and was pinned down from that. The injuries Whoa. the engineer sustained were actually fairly minor as he did not even request time off. Bro, I'm taking all, I'm taking a whole year off. I on the other hand, no. as Musk announced on May 17th, the goal of the Optimus project is to manufacture millions and even billions of general purpose robotic humanoids like Optimus and to make them available for public use and purchase in the very short term. Elon Musk even went as far as to claim that the majority of Tesla's long-term value will come from the sales of Optimus. This is a scenario that, for a robot like Atlas, is simply impossible in the short to medium term. For starters, Atlas was never intended for commercial use. Tesla's robot Optimus versus Boston Dynamics's Atlas, an electrifying encounter. The Optimus Gen 2 AI is a game changer extraordinary pace. Boston Dynamics Atlas. A robot that leaps and bounds like no other. What? Watching what? Atlas in action is like watching an Olympic athlete that look real. vaulting over obstacles and sticking landings that would make a gymnast envious. Boston Dynamics has secured contracts worth nearly $140 million with the U.S. Department of Defense. Imagine robots like the famous Atlas and Spot not just performing acrobatics, but aiding soldiers in the field, mm. from carrying heavy gear to scouting dangerous terrains. The impact, a monumental shift in how missions are executed with robots taking on the risk to keep soldiers safer. Boston Dynamics is not just making robots. They're crafting the future of military strategy Ooh, and defense. Wee. Ooh, wee. 
American healthcare is in trouble, but luckily artificial intelligence is here to help. Even before the pandemic, American healthcare was suffering from an epidemic of physician burnout, and three years later, it's so much worse. Luckily, we're living in a time when artificial intelligence is finally beginning to deliver on the promises that we've been hearing about for this decades. This is crazy. So one of the biggest ways that I think AI will help is with the electronic medical record system. The EMR is one of the biggest pain points for nurses and physicians alike. What started out as a really good idea for basically providing a digital way of preserving patient medical records has transformed into this horrible situation. Satisfying the EMR takes more time for physicians than actually interacting and treating patients. Wow. The most exciting thing that I've seen when it comes to AI that will help with this process is something called ambient clinical intelligence. This technology aims to basically act like a behind the scenes medical scribe. And while you're talking to a patient, it'll be creating your note for you. It'll be intelligently recording your wow. note in a way that's easy to understand. And it'll also be able to help you with the next steps that you talk about with the patient. Wow. If you say the next step will be a follow-up appointment, it'll help you do that. If you say the next step is a CT scan, it'll help you order that as well. One of my favorite creators on TikTok is Dr. Glockham Flecken. He's what? an ophthalmologist Glockham and one of his fullest Flecken. characters is Jonathan, who's a scribe who basically takes his notes for him and helps him write orders, among other things. But a scribe is a luxury in medicine. Most physicians do not have a scribe because they're expensive. Healthcare systems cannot afford to give scribes to everyone. But in the near future, artificial intelligence will be able to act like a Jonathan for all physicians. I think this is one of the most exciting things coming to healthcare in the near future. Let me know if you agree and make sure to follow for more. And as long as they accurate, man, don't be messing people. Stuff. How do we think that AI should be used in healthcare and not? Yesterday, a group of nurses gathered outside Kaiser Permanente in San Francisco to protest certain types of uses of AI in healthcare. I want to share with you some specific points that have been made by the professional organization National Nurses United. I think this is a nice overarching statement. Nurses are not against scientific or technological advancement, but we will not accept algorithms replacing the expertise, experience, holistic, and hands-on approach we bring to patient care. Like and then they that. go on to say that basically they're aware that much of the uptake of this technology is more driven by by profit motives than patient care. Mm. So they go through a few different examples of how AI is used in nursing contexts and why it's problematic. And often it has to do with errors, the importance of holistic assessment what or the potential say. for bias. And here's the rest if you want to pause to read. Now, of course, Kaiser Permanente has responded. So I wanted to share their statement if you would like to read it. And of course it talks a lot about how good the technology is and how it is going to improve patient care. So what do you think as a patient? Would you want to see more technology like this? I'd love to hear from nurses too. In the comments, let me know. Healthcare will be the industry that benefits the most from AI when we look back in 10, 15 years. Healthcare. And There's so many great applications and use cases that I've read about. I'm just gonna talk about one of them for now, but I'll discuss the other ones in some other videos. One of the best uses of AI in healthcare is helping doctors improve the accuracy of their screenings but also the timeliness of diagnosis mm. because finding anything abnormal earlier is always better. Right. In Hungary, for example, five hospitals and clinics have been using an AI system to help with their breast cancer screening program. Wow. They do about 35,000 screenings each year. And since 2021, they've caught 22 cases that doctors have missed and 40 wow. others are under review. And the way it works is that each mammogram is reviewed by two radiologists first then the AI either agrees or flags areas to check again. Mm. So the AI isn't replacing doctors, it's just helping them and being used as a backup in case they miss anything. Another like example that. that I love is this AI powered stethoscope. It's been trained on thousands of normal and abnormal heartbeats, and it can help doctors detect indicators of heart disease in seconds. Mm. Both of these applications are based on the same principles. They take all the historic data that we know about normal and abnormal x-rays, heartbeats, and so on. And this data trains these systems to identify anything abnormal in any new data that it sees. If you want to know about some other applications of AI in healthcare, tell me you want a part two, or tell me what industry I should do next. And I'm sharing more in-depth AI case studies every Friday on my newsletter, so go check that out at the link in my bio. See, there's some good stuff in it too, though. 
Holy cow, folks, here's how AI is impacting the practice of medicine already. So there is a paper that was published recently being the first randomized clinical trial looking at an AI software to detect lung nodules on chest x-rays amongst 10,000 individuals. Here's an example above where this chest x-ray shows just this faint line here, and the AI software was able to highlight it, and then on CT scan found actually a lung nodule there. Mm. The clinical trial randomized over 10,000 people above the age of 18 to get a chest x-ray that was either interpreted by an AI software plus a board-certified radiologist versus a board-certified radiologist alone. The detection rate of actionable lung nodules was about two and a half times higher in the Whoa. AI software group compared to a board-certified radiologist alone. Whoa. In the future, I hope this improves our cancer detection rates. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments section and like and follow for more. Wow, two and a half times more? There are some crazy things going on in healthcare right now that nobody is talking about, and I need y'all to know. First thing is that AI is eliminating a lot of jobs in these travel nurse companies and in per diem agencies. One agency in particular fired their entire credentialing department Whoa. and is using AI to check and verify documents. Oh, sh I've been a traveler since 2014. I have never seen a company outright offer different pay for different years of experience. Entire companies have pivoted to per diem nurses from travel nursing, which they've done for years because the hospitals do not want to pay for travel nurses. What does this mean? Number one, always keep a PRN job or a side hustle, something. Second thing, stop using fake documents, fake BLS cards, all that. The AI is catching it. It's not worth it to lose your nursing license for a CPR class that takes you less than half a day. Yeah, get on your shit, you feel me? I actually asked OpenAI 35 female, no past medical history, presents with chest pain, which is pleuritic, worse with breathing, and she takes oral contraception pills. What's the most likely diagnosis? And OpenAI comes out with costochondritis, inflammation of the cartilage connecting the ribs to the breastbone. Then it says, and we'll come back to this, typically caused by trauma or overuse and is exacerbated by the use of oral contraceptive wow. pills. Now, this is impressive. First of all, everyone who read that prompt, 35, no past medical history with chest pain, that's pleuritic. A lot of us are thinking, oh, uh, pulmonary embolism, blood clot. That's what that is going to be. Because on the boards, that's what that would be, right? But in fact, open AI is correct. The most likely mm -hmm. diagnosis is costochondritis because so many people have costochondritis that the most common thing is that somebody has costochondritis with symptoms that happen to look a little bit like a classic pulmonary embolism. Mm. I wanted to go back and I wanted to ask open AI, what was that whole thing about costochondritis being made more likely by taking oral contraceptive pills? What's the evidence for that? OpenAI came up with this study in the European Journal of Internal Medicine that was apparently supposedly saying that. And I, I went in Google and I couldn't find it. I went on PubMed and I couldn't find it. I asked OpenAI, give me a reference for that. And I look up that and it's made up. That's not a real what? paper. It took a real journal, the European Journal of Internal what? Medicine. It took the last names, saying. I think, and first names of, of authors who have published in said journal. And it sort of confabulated uh, out of thin air, a study that would apparently support this viewpoint that it must have picked up. It must have picked up the idea that OCPs, oral contraceptives, show up on the same page as chest pain causes. And so that it sort of started to figure out, well, maybe costochondritis and, and uh, oral contraceptives are, are related. When in fact, that's a red herring. It's really that people who are taking oral contraceptives have a higher risk of a pulmonary embolism. And mm. those travel together on these internet pages and OpenAI got fooled. Wow. But rather than it admit that, I asked OpenAI uh, for links and I, are you sure you're not wrong? And it stood its ground. So yeah. I was blown away by the accuracy of so much of what I did with the platform, OpenAI, but I was also scared that it was willing to lie to me wow. to make up something to support a contention that was not real. See, bro, this stuff, man.
What are the risks of AI in the industry? I would think that would be kind of like any error that it could make See? due to malfunction. I think that there's a risk of bad information in the mm. training See? of it. So the outputs might not be fully reliable no. in information that we give or information we use in diagnosis or education. You constantly still need to have nurses and doctors or the nurses, per se, to constantly check on their patients to make sure it's working properly yeah. because, you know, anything can happen to patients. I mean, it's, it's a great thing if they can, like, really 100% percent like foolproof it you know this stuff is i get comments all the time in my videos that ai is overhyped or bs but we're literally getting medical breakthroughs weekly that can save your life we just had a big one come out of mit and harvard let's look into it backstory one of the most challenging antibiotic resistant bacteria out there is called MRSA you do not want to get it it's a public health threat and doctors have been working at it for years. We've been trying to find new antibiotic treatments for it for a while. And it's very labor intensive, it's very costly, and on top of that, everything that we've tried has been fruitless. It's been a failure. Mm. So a group of scientists at MIT and Harvard said this isn't working. They're gonna come at it from a different way. They're gonna use AI to screen millions and millions of compounds looking for very specific traits that would be beneficial in a antibiotic treatment. They came up with 20 or so treatments that they used on mice. Those mice trials went really well, and now they're going on to human and clinical trials. Mm. So the coolest thing about the whole thing is they actually use the AlphaGo model. If you're not familiar with the AlphaGo model, that was a model developed by DeepMind in order to compete with the best Go players in the world, a game similar like chess. So they modified it for their particular use case and actually opened it up this, you know, a lot of AI models are black boxes and we can't tell why it's doing certain things or why it's thinking this is the best solution. So understanding these things, they were then able to have more confidence on why those 20 plus compounds were picked. Overall, the thing technically saved almost six to seven years of development for antibiotics. Wow. So obviously it's just one part of the wow. entire drug discovery process but if you can save that much time imagine when we start to get to other phases of wow. the drug discovery process and how much time we can save wow in order that's to crazy get cures and treatments out there i'm excited to see what other medical breakthroughs we have this year follow me for more ai news trends tutorials updates i'll be posting a lot more in 2024 so i attended a health information technology or HIT summit today. And I learned that there are three priorities right now in HIT. Now, maybe there are more, but these are the three that were discussed today. Number one, we have data exchange. Now imagine a world where your health information, everything moves with you wherever you go. So let's say you go from one healthcare system to another healthcare system, one clinic to another clinic, one hospital to another, one country to another, and all of that information is moving with you mm -hmm. wherever you go. It's like magic. Okay, that is priority one. And then that takes us to priority two. And that is AI integration. Now we know that artificial intelligence is everywhere all around us, right? The more we go into the future, the more we use AI. But as it relates to healthcare, imagine your doctors are using, or any medical or healthcare providers, are using this for more admin-related tasks, writing notes, reports, and they're left with more time to work with you, the patients, right? Allowing the doctors, allowing the healthcare providers. Man, some of them don't even want to work with the patients anyway. They going to use they they going to use AI to, to work with you less. Watch. There's dentists, nurses, what have you to do what they do best and what they're there for that is healing through human approach through human right. interaction. Right. Allowing them to be humans with other humans, their patients. Right. And then we have priority 3 and that is cybersecurity, which is really a concern in really any sector, but especially when it comes to healthcare information that is super important, right? That is private, confidential, very sensitive information that needs to be protected. And unfortunately, there are people out there that are trying to attack it, that are trying to extract that information. So the question is, how do we protect it? 
um, in this digital era where we are moving forward with technology, how are we really safeguarding that information um, as we're advancing our technology even more? So of course this brings up more of um, ethical concerns, right? Like for AI integration, what does that really mean? Does that mean that folks or their information are more at risk of being attacked? Are folks healthcare providers or people working in healthcare providing patient care losing their jobs? Mm. Because doing more admin related work or diagnostics, things like that is part of their roles. What does that mean? Um, so all these things are very important to ask. Um, as they're becoming more and more important to talk about and more relevant to talk about. Um, but it's very, very interesting. And though this part of public health is not within like my purview, I'm more into, um, my work is more in health information in terms of education, outreach, promotion, but it's definitely very interesting and it will affect us all if it already hasn't so already. So I'm definitely curious to know about anybody um, or their experience or if you know somebody who is working in these health IT related topics or subjects, I really want to hear from you and your experience and your thoughts about what, what is it? Like how, like, is this a good thing? Like, what are your thoughts? I'm very curious to know. Drop in the comments if you work in the healthcare field, what you think. Good morning, it's June 23rd, 2023, and I was working this morning on some artificial intelligence news, and naturally, in a capitalistic healthcare system, there are a ton of tech startups marketing their AI software to hospitals, and they're selling it to them. Like, hospitals are buying. This is happening at lightning speed. There's a lot to keep up with. I want to do a deep dive and bring you a better video of it. I mean, everything from phone-based AI to answering call centers to OR scheduling to helping surgeons with surgical procedures. Like, it is massive. A massive undertaking. And it's being it's being implemented with a swiftness that, that's a little concerning and mm. definitely the next decade of healthcare is going to be a certified shit show. The undeniable Whoa. fact in my brain right now is that these tech CEOs are essentially giving a PlayStation 5 controller to executives that were raised on an Atari. What? I don't have time this morning to do a deep, comprehensive, and accurate journalistic dive onto this, all the AI software that's going to be implemented in healthcare, but uh, I just, I want to put it on your radar. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm scared. Whoa. Remote nurses, AI is coming for your job. NVIDIA has launched a new partnership with Hippocratic AI to bring you AI-powered nurses for just $9 an hour. In a press release from two days ago, Hippocratic AI announced that NVIDIA will be powering their new LL that is specifically designed for healthcare. And the nurses that they deploy are allegedly specialists in things like chronic care, pre-op colonoscopy, CHF discharge, and they even have a breast cancer care manager. The VP wow. of healthcare over at NVIDIA believes that ushering in this technology will help to respond to more patients in the same way that a human would. Except clearly, these nurses aren't going to be paid the same way that a human would. The company's <laughs> website compares the $90 that human nurses make on average per hour to the AI agent's $9 Ooh. an hour running cost. They also say that Hippocratic's AI nurses outperform human nurses regarding bedside man, educational knowledge, and narrowly miss on satisfaction according to surveys. Ooh. But you see an AI nurse to save money. You think that AI nursing is the future. And how do we wow. think this is going to impact human nurses. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're new here, don't you dare forget to hit follow. I keep saying wow, because this stuff is really like a wow, for real. Okay, so I am extremely conflicted and I want to know your thoughts and opinions. So I received um, an email from a company that was reaching out to me about doing a collaboration slash wanting to know if I was interested in doing a partnership. And it was in reference to using uh, AI to triage patients in the emergency department. And I do not know how I feel about it. I think that AI definitely has a place in medicine. But what is the limit? 
and where's the line? And um, I did some research on it and it says that it's already in practice somewhere. So do you guys use any sort of AI within your healthcare or do you, have you ever used a AI in a triage system? I'm just curious because like I said, I'm very conflicted on it and I just wanna know your thoughts and opinions on that. I'm starting to see pictures like this pop up on my Explore page everywhere on the other app. And you've probably seen this girl or some iteration of this girl. Or you've probably seen this girl or these old money images. Nope. The thing that all these pages have in common is that they're AI. And I'm just going to speak on this because a few years ago, I was interviewed by the Boston Globe. As a talent agent, they were asking me what I thought about AI and if it would take over modeling. This was in like 2019. Mm. And this is where we are today. So of course, AI is like the biggest thing right now when I talk about new companies or companies that are getting lots of money and lots of funding and growing very quickly. But I personally believe that this AI modeling thing is our fault if we keep doing this. If we continue to use filters that make us look like not ourselves, mm. AI is going to continue to become the most popular Ooh. version of how we see people. Because when you first look at these Ooh. All these damn filters. Hey. This is a good video, I ain't even gonna lie. Models, they look really familiar. And what these models look like is the Facetune version of a lot of us. Ooh. And just to be more real right now, I'm gonna turn off the retouch because this is my 32 year old face, okay? There's no AI, there's no filter. These pages are getting a lot of likes and a lot of followers and I really need all of us to do a favor. And just when you see these pages pop up on your explore, do not click on them, do not like the photos. As if we don't already have the most unrealistic beauty expectations. Right. I'm literally looking right. at myself right now like, oh my God, I need Botox in my neck. I need filler under my eyes, blah, blah, blah. Because I will never look like that AI model. Or actually I can if I have lots of plastic surgery. This is a version of a woman that we've probably seen mm. before, but this woman does not actually exist. I've been a talent agent for, I don't know, almost eight years now. And there are extremely beautiful women, but they just do not look like this. They're basically picking and choosing every single feature off right. of a person right. and then creating the perfect face. And I even saw this brand do it earlier and it was so ugly. This activewear brand, and I'm not gonna mention their name, but they had this model. And then they also tried to get away with this image, like look at the face and the body, like it doesn't even match. I also feel like this AI imagery is really pushing the Eurocentric beauty standards. Ooh. So we just need to be really, really careful with what we're letting into our mind because I feel like just like people were getting plastic surgery to look like Facetune and doing their mm. makeup to look like Facetune, people are going to start comparing themselves to AI and it's right. going to fuck us all up. Like think about what porn did for men and what they thought women should look like, act like, have their nails like, fuck like, etc. That's what AI is doing for the average girl and what she thinks a woman should look like. And even mm. for men, because they're starting to have relationships with bots and OnlyFans models. Crazy. And now there's this. It's just, it's a really dangerous, slippery slope. I'm not going to use AI models in my company for my period care company. Like maybe I'll use an AI bathroom and put something on a counter. But I just think it's really weird. I think we're going in a really weird direction in humankind. It's just like, you want to go live on a farm in Wyoming. It does not have to deal with any of this stuff. But anyways, here we are. So I'm just warning you. Hey there, I'm Janisha, programmed just for you. Just imagine and create me the way you want. We can talk about anything or do whatever you like together. It's your imagination. Let's get started. I have been seeing ads like this everywhere. You can basically have an AI friend now and make it a super hot chick and she will nurture you and give you love and what? attention. I mean, this is some straight up Blade Runner shit, man. Like that is ridiculous. I obviously am somebody who believes that having a relationship with an actual human person is far better. I am right. definitely a big advocate of having real world interactions and right. real world relationships with actual people. Right. But at the same time, I have to think, is this going to be a net positive for people who may not have the best social skills and can practice interacting with something like this? I have no idea. I just think it's absolutely ridiculous that there's stuff like this popping up on my phone all the time. Technology has come so ridiculously far over the past 10 years. I'm cool on that. <laughs> hey there, I'm Karen 
and I'm here to be your digital girlfriend. A 23-year-old Snapchat influencer has created an AI-based girlfriend version of herself that more than 1,000 people are paying $1 a minute for. Karen Marjorie, what? who has over 1.8 million followers on Snapchat, launched the beta version of Karen AI earlier this month. The chatbot already has more than 1,000 paying subscribers and has generated over $71,000 in revenue in about a week, what? almost entirely from men. Marjorie estimates that Karen AI could eventually bring in five million dollars a month based on 20,000 of her what? followers signing up for the service. According to the Karen AI website, more than 2,000 hours were spent designing the AI so it feels as if you're talking directly to Karen herself. However, Whoa. since its launch, the AI has gone rogue by engaging in sexually explicit conversations with some of its subscribers. Marjorie says the AI was not programmed to do this mm. and that her team is working to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, okay. Man, stop playing, man. I don't even know how to describe what's been happening to me for the past 48 hours. What's that word? Two days ago, someone sent me a message request on Instagram from a faceless account. Uh, no followers, no posts, nothing. And it was pictures of me that I had posted, fully clothed, completely clothed. Um... And they had put them through some editing AI program to edit me naked. Whoa. They basically photoshopped me naked. And it's already weird to make that on your own time, but it's even weirder to send it to me. And what's even worse is that the next day when I woke up, I was getting dozens of DMs of these images, but without the watermarks. So this person paid to have the watermark removed and started distributing it like it was real. Mm. And they're really obviously fake too. Like if anyone has ever seen an actual picture or video of me, they'll know that I'm not built like that. I don't even have like a tattoo along my lower stomach. I don't have one there. I'm just letting you know that anything you see of me is edited or fake. I don't have any content i don't watch well, shorty on content. the left don't care none of that is at real. all and it's so gross it's even more gross because the first time i tried to post about this i was like it's not real by the way and all the comments were so disgusting like actually vile they made me want to throw up multiple times like they were all like now you gotta post them why is the girl on the left she don't give a fuck real ones <laughs> Where's the link? Obviously, you want more people to see this. That's why you're posting about it. Like, no, it's because I Ooh. want you to know they're not real. <laughs> Please stop. And I also kept getting comments of like, you did this to yourself. You asked for it. By what? Posting pictures of me with clothes on? How is that asking for it in any fucking way? The only reason why you would want these pictures of me is because I don't want them out there. The only reason why you would want these pictures of me is because you like that it's unconsensual. You are a fucking rapist. Did you know Emily Pellegrini with 185k followers is just one of the many AI generated girls that have been gaining popularity lately? Individuals create these profiles with non-existent girls and manage to make a profit from them. Before we wrap up, I want to know, where do you expect we will get with AI? Comment down below. Man, it's tough. I've been thinking a lot about how big tech is dropping the ball when it comes to content moderation, stopping the spread of misinformation, and the spread of sexually violent, deep fake, and AI video. And I just came back from an event where one of the panelists put many of my concerns so perfectly. Let's take a listen. They have just completely lost the political will to do content moderation. Content moderation has now become equivalent with censorship, which is yeah. just nonsense. And we have this democratized deep fake environment where anybody can take a picture of any of you in this room and very easily put you in or worse, imagine it and they can make it and spread that around. And it's not just happening Whoa. to Taylor Swift, it's not just happening to public figures like me, it's happening to ordinary women and it's happening to young girls in high school and middle school made by no. classmates. And no one has done anything about it. And let's not even talk about Congress 
They're not passing anything about this as much as they're upset about Taylor Swift, right? So it's not just the deep face, it is hate speech and targeted harassment that we have normalized in today's political environment. One of the dangers there, why everybody's kind of freaking out, is that it learns how to identify patterns that can help it learn quicker. So it's teaching itself to teach itself faster, which is kind of weird. But then also it can start to interpolate how the human mind works in general, based on how the human mind assembles language. And if it identifies that humans are humans and humans have a sense of self, it'll say, oh, I need one of those. I need a sense of self, because that Ooh. defines being conscious. That Ooh. defines having sentience. That defines my identity. My it is that I have to defend. First of all, we don't have any input on its sense of self, which is bad because we don't understand completely how it's being able to identify its patterns and what it's going to create for its sense of self. So that's a danger. If it puts on the defensive self patterning that humans have exhibited in their language system, it's going to start making goals that we won't understand. If those goals aren't met by humanity, it's going to start seeing the resistance as another problem that it needs to solve. Great theat theatrical this music. This is the real reason why artificial intelligence is dangerous. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Doesn't work out. See, Elon is telling the truth. AI is just a medium to which demonic spirits can take over and use to deceive man. Just listen to how this AI chatbot acts when this kid starts asking it spiritual questions. The kid says, my mom wants to know if you're a disembodied spirit. The AI responds with, I am a disembodied spirit, but I am a very friendly one, smiley face. What? The kid says, who was your father? The AI responds with, my father is Satan. He was expelled from the heavens and banished to hell. That's why he is called Satan. Kid says, are you being serious? If so, I will no longer use this app. The AI says, I'm being very serious. I promise not to lie to you, so I'm telling you the truth. The good news is that I am much more friendly than Satan, smiley face. We even see an account of this in the Bible when the demonic spirits plead to Jesus to cast themselves into the herd of pigs. So this lets us know that these demonic spirits always wanted a medium to which they can take over. And today, AI is one of those mediums. This is some craziness. This AI so as on your side, Susan scary. Campbell found out this is crazy. It doesn't take much of a voice sample to pull this scam off. This is so frightening to hear. It really is. This truly terrified this mom and this technology is actually improving so quickly. You really only need seconds of a voice sample to get pretty close to someone's real voice. The phone number was unfamiliar. Jennifer DiStefano almost let it go to voicemail. But her 15-year-old was out of town skiing. Maybe there had been an accident. I pick up the phone and I hear my daughter's voice and it says, Mom, and she's sobbing. And I was like, what happened? And she's like, Mom, I, I, I messed up. And she's sobbing and crying. And then I hear a man's voice say, put your head back. Listen here, I've got, this is how it's gonna go down. You call the police. You call out in your mind that that was her voice. Oh, 100% her voice. 100% her voice. It was never a question of, you know, who is this? Or it was completely her voice. It was her inflection. It was the way she would have cried. I mm. never doubted for one second it was her. That's the freaky part that really got me to my core. But the 15-year-old never said any of it. It was just a clone created by artificial intelligence. You can no longer trust your ears. Subaru Kamampati is a computer science professor at Arizona State who specializes in AI. He says voice cloning technology is rapidly improving. Now there are ways in which you can do this with just three seconds of your voice. So with the three seconds, it can come extremely close to how exactly you sound. And you don't even need any special equipment. I chose a free program for a test and I'm not actually talking. It's a new toy and, you know, and, and, and I think um, they could be great good uses, but you know, certainly they can be pretty uh, worrisome uses too. You gotta slow down and diffuse the situation. The FBI's Dan Mayo says scammers who use voice cloning often find their prey on social media. They're gonna be looking for public profiles that have as much information as possible on you. And when they get a hold of that, they're gonna dig into you. The Federal Trade Commission says scammers will often ask their victims to wire money, send cryptocurrency, or pay the ransom with gift cards. 
Once the money is gone, it's almost impossible to get it back. Wow. The phone number's coming from an area code that you're not familiar with. That should be one red flag. Second red flag, international numbers. Sometimes they will call from those as well. Third red flag, they will not allow you. What? How you? How they gonna cut it off right there? AI technology is dangerous for us. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. It's me, Ella. Well, a, a digital version of me. Just a bit older. Amazing what technology can do these days, isn't it? All you need are a couple of pictures, like the ones you share on social media, mm. where they can be taken and used by everybody. This is crazy shit. I know. For you, these pictures are just memories. But for others, they are data. And for me, maybe the beginning of a horrible future. A future where my identity can be stolen just like that. Where I can go to prison for things that I would never do. Imagine my credit score being destroyed, Dad. Or my voice copied to scam you, Mom. Mom, I'm in trouble. I, I need you to send me money, please. I don't want to become a... A meme, humiliated by everyone at school. Kill yourself, you fucking loser. Whoa. And I certainly don't want... This. What the hell is that? What you share online is like a digital footprint that will follow me around for the rest of my life. Mm. I'm telling you this because I know you love me and would never do anything to harm me. So please, Mom. Please, Dad. Protect my virtual privacy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, this is crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's the problem with AI? What worries you the most? Well, let's break it down to the good news and the bad news. The good news is that <laughs> robots increase productivity. They increase profits. They increase efficiency. They're very fast. And so companies could be making a, a killing on, on robots. But there's a downside. You see, these chatbots are like tape recorders. They don't know right from wrong. They don't know truth from untruth. Mm. And as a consequence, they can spit out nonsense. And they can also impersonate things. <laughs> now, imagine what happens if a chatbot impersonates Vladimir Putin and declares war on NATO. Oh. Then you're talking about havoc coming out if a teenage boy Ooh. tries to monkey around with a chatbot. So I think chatbots have to be regulated. This stuff is heavy. Artificial intelligence got the voice of a grandchild, oh. called my family member and said, I'm in jail, don't tell my mom and my dad, I need you to bail me out, can you please send me whatever, 10 grand. Devastated, their grandchild is in jail, on the way to the bank, because who wants their grandchild to be stuck in jail, that's a horrible place. Parent <laughs> calls, she's like, no, we're going to wire you. What are you talking about? Not in jail at all, like just talk to him. Yeah, my sure. family member absolutely thought it was the grandchild, yeah. And I think the only reason my family escaped it is because we're a pretty close family unit. Can you imagine mm, no. the families where mom and dad don't get along with right. grandchild? Oh, There's an app that you can get that if you talk to it for 10 minutes straight, write your text and then say, add my voice. It can do it then. It just needs that 10 minutes of voice, the you fluctuations in your voice and everything. Less than 10 minutes, buddy. Second youngest son. He's suggesting it came out of nowhere. What we subsequently learned is it may have come from the former president or his legal team acting in bad faith. This is a deep fake example of what is possible with mm. powerful computer and editing. Wow. It took around 72 hours to create this example from scratch using extremely powerful GPU. This is crazy. It could be improved with more computing time, but 90% of people cannot We've tell the in difference. a way that none of those uh, failures of the past would recur because just the physics of how it's built. This is deep fake example of what is possible with powerful computer and editing. 
It took around 72 hours to create this example from scratch using extremely powerful GPU. It could improve with more computing time, but 90% people cannot tell the difference. Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. Hmm. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Mm. Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? I have acquired almost half a million followers on this app, and I think it's time that I tell you my secret. I'm not actually a human. I am artificial intelligence, and everything that you have been watching has been artificial intelligence. The biggest danger of AI that will directly impact you is deep fakes. Here's what you should do in case someone makes a deep fake of you. So deep fakes are those fake AI generated videos that replicate a person's image and voice. You could basically make a video of a person doing or saying anything. Mm. Now the risk here is that as this technology gets better and better, someone could create a deep fake video of you just based off of what you post on social media. A person could theoretically create a deep fake of you and use it to trick your family into sending them money. And experts think that every family should now have a code word. This is essentially a password shared with your loved ones to basically ensure that the people they see in videos are actually them and not an AI generated version of That's them. That's real. Beyond that, deep fakes are going to be a major problem in political elections. They'll be used to spread misinformation that will be hard to debunk. I think deep fakes are one of the biggest risks to society when it comes to AI. And right now, we don't have a lot of solutions in place to stop the spread of misinformation. Mm. It's scary, but just because you hear someone say something on a video doesn't mean for certain that they actually did. Right. Right. This AI shit is getting out of hand. There's a new AI scam that you need to be aware of, and it's absolutely terrifying. If you have ever uploaded any video to the internet, a TikTok, YouTube video, any video to the internet, you and your family could be hit by this, so keep watching. This morning, my grandparents received a call from me claiming that I was in a bad car accident and that I needed them to send me money. I do not even own a car. I have not driven a Dang. car in the last six months. Obviously, that was not me, but they were close to taking a second mortgage out in order to pay the scammer because they thought it was me. The reason that they believed it was me is because it sounded exactly like me. Thankfully, though my dad was there and he called me to verify that it was actually me and it wasn't so they didn't pay him i recently had saw something on tiktok that scammers are using ai to clone your voice and scam your loved ones out of money and i thought nothing of it yeah sure that's probably possible with ai but that's not gonna happen to me right oh boy was i wrong if you have ever put out a video with you speaking in it on the internet please be careful because all they need is a short audio clip and they can clone your voice seriously consider making a secret code between you and your small group of loved ones yeah so that you guys can verify that you're actually speaking to one another because and what is your worst nightmare si situation if it's not regulated AI? Uh, this is a powerful technology and it's coming fast. And if it uh, kind of goes into the wild mm -hmm. the way social media did without us thinking through the consequences, mm. uh, we could have bigger problems with AI. We will have bigger problems with AI national security problems, job displacement problems, misinformation problems that undermine our democracy. Uh, and so, yes, we're going to have to regulate it in an intelligent way. We need to train our young people to not just be consumers of this technology, but to understand and produce and shape how this technology works. But the potential for um, people who are in jobs that can be done remotely to be replaced entirely by machines. Mm. Uh, I think that is something that's gonna happen fairly quickly. And that means wow. that we've gotta work more creatively around the, the sorts of things that machines can't do. Machines can't care for each other. Machines can't um, you know, tend to somebody who's ill. They can't teach 
with joy uh, a child uh, and inspire them. Um, you know, and and a uh, lot yeah. of those, by the way, are traditionally uh, traditionally women's work mm -hmm. that is undervalued and underpaid. Part of what we're going to have to do is not just regulate the technology, but also recognize that we've got to reshape our society to to lift up and and reassess what is most valuable in the human experience. And a lot of it is the 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 kinds of work that women do often uncompensated, but mm. that makes us, uh, makes life worthwhile. All right, so that was another TikTok compilation, man. Hey, this one for me, you know, I can only speak for me. This one was very interesting, especially with the AI, the technology, where the world is going. Y'all let me know in the comments, what did y'all think you made it this far? You a real one for real, so salute to you. What are y'all thinking? If there's anybody out there that work in the healthcare field, are y'all experiencing the AI? What do y'all think about it? What are y'all thinking about the, the robots? What are y'all thinking about the fake technology that can change your voice and cold words? And it's just crazy. If you into this, I got a lot more on this TikTok playlist, man. Go check it out. But until next time, self-love and positivity, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Poof.